Hello viewers, Mary Ann here. Uh, how are we all today, wherever you are in the world when you're watching? A huge shout out to you. I missed my um, cue, I guess, for uh, a short reading yesterday because I was undergoing some um, what they call allergy desensitization. It's all, all part of ma managing that asthma you hear all the time, um, which is, now I'm getting ringing in my ears, which is an allergic-based, um, well, in part, an allergic-based asthma. Uh, certainly, it's made a difference already. Um, but anyway, so let's get on with today's question or questions. I'm actually going to do two, so I'm not sure if this is such a short uh, video. Let's wait and see. First one is about China. Uh, China launched a missile. It went up into space, uh, did an orbit, uh, so, and of course, everybody took everybody by surprise um, that they, A, had this technology, and, and B, that these type of missiles that go up into that orbital type space environment are very hard to track and catch. The big question was, do they uh, have this nuclear we know that there are a number of co uh, countries that are developing nuclear weapons. Uh, and is it a plan to put nuclear on the missile or was the, will the missiles be nuclear missiles? And there was a question raised from a, um, I guess, an expert that said what we have to worry about now is that China has a number of satellites and are these satellites somehow connected with this missile that goes up into space? China has de de uh, declined or declined to say exactly what it was other than that they were testing some type of spaceship for tourist travel. Okay, that's what they've said. When I opened up for this reading, what I got was, uh, yes, they see space as a, an advantage to them. Yes, they are warlike, absolutely. Um, uh, but all, I did get something interesting and in that there might have been a deal with someone else. This might be some sort of partnership, but I'll just put that out there. All right, let's, uh, let's have a look. Do they intend these space missiles? to carry nuclear weaponry. Do they intend these space missiles to carry nuclear weaponry? Certainly weaponry. Um, so we've got the Two of Pentacles. This talks about walking a thin line. It talks about having to make decisions. It could be the overarching energy for the world itself that as countries pursue this type of advantage, because that's what it is, it's seen as an advantage. Um, we are in a precarious place as a civilization. Uh, and we also have the Empress card. Now, there are two things here. I think that the partnership is with Russia in some way, uh, but also chi it shows China's financial issues that, they are not abundantly um, endowed at this time with financial liquidity. And uh, there's just a, almost like if you look at the dragon here, it looks pretty much like a Chinese symbol in itself. Uh, mo money has been, carries a spiritual type of energy for the Chinese currency. Um, and it seems to me, that this is saying that they may not have the funds in future to be so aggressive. Uh, now, Russia also is, or my card for Russia, the Empress card, so abundance is a problem, but Russia is also crossing. So it's a partnership, if indeed it is a partnership, if, I'm, if what I'm getting is correct, that may not serve China in some way. Let's, let's keep going. Yeah, the Eight of Wands, um, you know, pretty much says a lot about their intentions. It's like meteors coming from space. Whether it's nuclear weaponry that they want in these missiles or simply other type of weaponry, I think it is fair to say that this is what I'm getting, um, that they this is their intention. In the past, we've got the Ace of Coins. This was when China was, you know, mighty with the manufacturing, uh, I guess, strength, mighty with trade, mighty with the dollar. 
But unfortunately, or fortunately, <laughs> that is in the past. So there is an issue for them financially, which is, which is directly related to this question. The Nine of Pentacles in the sky, exactly. Uh, this is wealth and freedom, which they have had. Um, potentially, they have, it could even be that they might even sell this sell this technology um that could be the partnership uh that i'm getting but we've got in the immediate future loans debts the six of pentacles giving and receiving help so i feel that their debt is going to be uh i guess their debt is increasing um one more card and the king of wands bold action in relation to what they owe what is that? We better keep going. Um, but the Four of Swords. So their, um, I guess their leadership is impacted by this downturn in their economy. That's what I'm getting. Hopes and fears. What are we frightened about? Or what are we scared about? That there will be some kind of bombshell, some kind of surprise. Uh, and this is what I think that they're, the other aspect of this reading is that they actually hope they've got the ability to um, create that surprise but the ten of pentacles shows me yes this is a lot about wealth wealth and influence um, but it shows me there's a question yeah there's a question mark around this with the justice card what is given is taken away from china so i feel that as they go forward uh the emperor yeah, the Emperor Justice, um, and this is justice for the Emperor as well, because when there's a downturn in their uh, living standards as a result of this massive and quick uh, rise of, off the back of Western dollars, um, if the people aren't satisfied with restrictions and freedoms being taken away, I've always seen that there could even be an uprising against their current Emperor, because that's what he is. He's an Emperor, Emperor uh, Xi Jinping. Ten of Cups talks about uh, families, legacies, but we also have balance and moderation as well. So the world really is bringing, with the Seven of um, Wands, bringing China to heal. Um, so yes, they have this, I guess where I come out is, yes, they have this capability. Uh, yes, it is weaponry um, and it is being, you know, the, with the aim of launching from space. Yes, there is some kind of partnership arrangement with somebody else. However, what dominates this reading is financial downturn for China. And so that is going to get in the way here um, of their progress. Um, they um, aim to kind of conquer the world. Um, the, the almighty dollar is going to get in the way. Um, and it's almost karmic in the way that might play out. So watch for that. All right, um, not, I don't see a threat, although they want the advantage of the threat. But I, but I don't just, I didn't see any massive explosions. It may not come, if we're looking at those sort of um, events playing out, it may not come from China, it might come from somewhere else, somewhere we're not expecting. All right, let's take a look at uh, Senator Joe Manchin, who has indicated today he will... Well, not today, but he has told people close to him, according to sources, that he is looking, if if the reconcili reconciliation bill is not trimmed down, he's looking to leave the Democratic Party, which would put the Senate in the Republican hands. So I've got Abundance here, the Empress, and I've also got the Tower card. Um, mansion sort of in a way he's almost a little bit like the ex-president in in the way that he the roadblocks that almost like a destruction destroying opportunity to get legislation through he's pilloried absolutely he uh, has deep ties to the fossil fuel industry but will he leave the democratic party will Manchin leave let me just give this another shuffle Will Manchin leave the Democratic Party? Joe Manchin, Senator Manchin, leave the Democratic Party. Three of Cups, we've got circles of support. 
This is staying within a, a, I guess, a circle. What is the circle? The political party. The challenge is the page of pentacles. So again, um, working together. Uh, and there's here, I think, is the reduction of the reconciliation bill. Um, the page of pentacles information coming out around support and who supports him as well. It could be three key players here. Um, okay, the Empress card. It went, I, you know, I don't want to bring everything back to Russia, Russia, Russia. But this is abundance. It's financial abundance as well. It's an earth sign, abundance from the earth. But it is also my card from for, for Russia. Now, I don't know what his ties would be, but I just want to put it out there. Uh, the Seven of Swords in the past position, it's not a good card. It talks about uh, somebody who is stealing from the camp, leaves the camp unguarded at night, makes off with the, with the weapons. It's also lying. Let's see what's crowning this reading, the Page of Wands. It looks like there's some kind of information going to emerge. What is this around mansions, ties, beyond just the fossil fuel industry? You could find he has ties to uh, the Republican Party. Um, there's something around, uh, it's, it's quite heavy energy around him, around him at the moment. Uh, the Ten of Swords, complete and utter downfall. Um, in the immediate future, some some information, more than what we already know, is going to emerge uh, with Mansion here. It's a it's sort of like the end for him in some way. Let's keep going. The Seven of Wands in the current position. He is defending himself at the moment. He is under attack. The Hanged Man. Why? Because he's bringing things to a close. Bring it. Sorry, bringing things to a stop. Defending. Why there's no pro no process? There's something more here. Uh, in the hopes and fears, the tower card. I've always said that he has the power to um, really to lose the Senate for the Democratic Party without you know even though they've won it. Um, this is a loss here. This is the tower card breaking down of structures. It is in the hopes and fears though. We do have the star card, so somebody's going to find a way through this. There was a win for uh, President Biden in October. Something is coming. Uh, some There is some kind of, um, I guess, healing here. Uh, and we'll see what that is. The Nine of Swords. It talks about the anxiety here. And the Queen of Pentacles, stability of the Senate. Okay, so some more... Information is going to emerge here. Um, there could be a number of scenarios. Nine of Pentacles. It's, it is, as we know, all about the money with him. Judgment, something inevitable happening and a restriction here. What happens if he leaves the Democratic Party? It looks like there's a severing here. But to get the hope card there uh, is, a, is, is another thing. Let's draw a clarification on why the hope card is here. I don't think this video is going to be so short. Okay, the star card. What is this here? So we get the Ten of Swords in the immediate future, which is, which is complete and utter downfall. Then we get the star card. What is that about? Let's let's go to spirit. So, okay. <laughs> the tower card, being in the hopes and fears. If he does leave the Democratic Party, it's not going to be the end of the world. Chaos will ensue. Uh, he obviously wouldn't be primaried. Uh, at the next election. So even though he might threaten this, there's a lot riding on it for him. Maybe it's better this way that he gets well and truly out, given that the dollar, the almighty dollar, is king for him. The star card, show me what that star card is. Show me what that star card is. Strength. Strength. There's a strength here. What's going on? The Eight of Pentacles. So, hmm, alrighty. And the Sun card. Um, these are positive cards. Uh, I'm just going to take a punt. Yeah, there's the tower at the base of the pack here. Breaking down of structures. And here's the Ten of Swords. So, it's very precarious. Yes, the threat is real. Yes, he might. 
leave, but there is a strength here in this. I think people have already anticipated this. Certainly I did in my readings six months ago. What is this? Let's see if I can get some information, clairvoyant information here. What is this? So this is Biden here. Uh, there's some kind of, what does he do? Does he promise West Virginia a whole stack of money? Is there uh, help then for West Virginia? Or is this, what is this? Okay, so, okay, so I'm getting the image of a rabbit. What's going on there? luck a rabbit's foot pulling a rabbit out of a hat all right some i'm just going to say that <laughs> that biden manages to do something with this situation that brings us through it or brings you through it okay i'm just going to leave that there um what else what other questions uh have i got that are reasonably short readings um Okay, let's see how uh, Trump is going. The ex-president is going with, I think he's facing, uh, no, I know what the question was. Yes, he's facing about 10 civil suits, criminal investigation in Georgia, uh, and of course the Manhattan DA's investigation in uh, Manhattan, <laughs> and also another district attorney's office is investigating his Winchester. Is it Winchester? Um, it's not Winchester. <laughs> Hold on. She was the gun lady, wasn't she? Uh, let's have a look here. I do have it here. Okay, who is the DA uh, that's investigating? Yeah, Westchester. <laughs> Westchester County, New York, is investigating the financial dealings of his golf course located in that jurisdiction. Why? For the same reason that the Manhattan District Attorney's uh, Office is investigating him. So we've got tax fraud, devaluing properties in order to pay zero tax, little or zero tax. All right, so let's see. any On any one of these... Uh, okay, so we've got the Knight of Swords, we've got the Five of Wands jumping out, something else is jumping out, and the Ten of Cups. So, so much here, uh, yeah. Okay, so Page of Swords came up in the February, Biden's six months, uh, next six months reading. whole lot of partisanship here, but I do get progress. I do get progress in some way on seeking the truth and getting to the truth. Um, there could be, yeah, there could be real trouble for Trump February. Yeah, the Four of Pentacles trying to hold back information. Any number of these things will bring this president, ex-president down. I've said that in all my readings. One last card, please. It will be brought down. One last card. Well, the ex-president... Okay, there's quite a few here. We've got uh, now sh this is the Westchester investigation, and we've got the Queen of Pentacles and the again the Four of the Four of Cups. So there's a lot of fours here. At least one of these things will result in an indictment. I'm pretty sure that's the Manhattan the Manhattan DAs. Now I do want to. It's not a short video, obviously. I do want to get to. I do want to get to uh, Bannon. Bannon's been referred uh, by the committee. It has to go through the House. I thought that would happen uh, about a month ago. Let's have a look if the DOJ, then it's up, once it gets through the House of Congress, it's up to the DOJ to decide whether to criminally prosecute. Will the DOJ... Something, they're flying out. We've got the Ten of Swords. <laughs> That's what Bannon gets. That's the, they're the cards he gets. A downfall, same as Mansion got a downfall there. All right, so will the DOJ, will the DOJ prosecute Bannon? All right, so we've got the Eight of Cups. This is loss. Cross to buy the Seven of Cups. 
uh, illusion, delusion, needing to make a choice. Now, to me, this sums up the Bannon energy. I mean, where did he think he was going to end up? The Page of Cups, yeah. This is a, a kind of like a bombshell energy, things coming out. Um, this is also the energy. These are the energies of Bannon. Uh, can I just paraphrase and say loser, delusion, um, probably living pretty high off the hog. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> but he is just not a nice energy. Page of Wands information. This could be, even be the referral that's in the past. Two of Cups is uh, crowning this reading. It is his relationship with Trump. And we've got what did he do? The insurrection. Queen of Pentacles. Uh, this is, of course, um, my card for national security, stability, uh, economic stability as well. Um, but in this case, I think this is a woman funding. She has information about a woman who funded this. Now, is this the pub public publics? Is that her, the heiress or somebody else? But he has information about somebody that funded this, which is going to be really important. The six of wands, the victory. I think this is the vic victory also for the for the committee. The uh, sun card, full illumination in the hopes and fears. And we've got temperance, yeah. Yep, yep, that's the outcome card. Uh, this is such a, a good card that keeps coming up for the Biden administration, that, that there's continual progress toward moderation, even though it doesn't look like it. Um, Oh, there he is, King of Cups, Biden. He, yeah, absolutely, justice. Guys, girls, guys and girls. <laughs> what this banner, yes, this is the outcome card, quite clear. Uh, it's also a de December time frame. So you might find the DOJ announces in December uh, that they, that he will be held for, he will be charged with criminal contempt. And that timeline seems about right. We've got the, the Biden uh, kind of moderative type of energy here, bringing balance back. And we've got the justice card. So uh, December will be a key month for this, not only for uh, the, the indictment of Bannon on criminal contempt, but also for the January 6th committee. Now, why do they want his testimony? Because he has information about the money. About the money that funded this. And I think that's where they get. So, if we look at how this might play out, or what the committee might have. We have a, an insurrection at the Capitol in January. We have uh, evidence of pre-planning. Uh we are wanting more evidence of pre-planning. And then once you have those two things, we have funding. Because this kind of operation doesn't happen without funding. So this is where the January 6th committee is going. And Bannon has knowledge of all three things. And that's why they are. he's a critical witness. He won't ha be protected at all. Uh, I did a reading earlier on in the week uh, on another forum and I, I, I kind of saw and read that the courts eventually, even Bannon's not covered by executive privilege of any sort, but the courts will uphold that the executive privilege lies with the current president, not the ex. Okay, so that's where we're going with all of this. Uh, DOJ will... will according to my reading, Charge Bannon. Now, the other question, uh, no, I'll leave it for Saturday. I might do a short on my Saturday. Um, that's the reading that I've got today. Started, it started out as a short. <laughs> Obviously, it didn't end like that. Uh, I'll be back uh, with another reading again soon. Bye for now, everyone. Cheers.